Hi, Dr. Raja here. Just want to give you a little video talking about the do's and don'ts and expectations you know, after intraocular surgery. Number one, you probably notice that your vision is kind of blurry. Totally normal. About 90% of the healing usually occurs in that first week and it takes about a month to heal in its entirety. Now, you can also have a little bit of scratchiness in the eye. That gets better day after day. Probably only take a couple of days. You can use artificial tears for comfort. And you are also prescribed an Advil eye drop for ocular pain, which will help with the discomfort. Uh, lastly, you can also get a redness kind of in the white part of the eye. You can think of that as post-operative bruising, and it happens because I will typically give a steroid injection up above. You might even see the white dot up there, and that can cause some bruising. Sometimes a few days after the surgery, do not be alarmed. It's totally okay in cosmetic and will eventually go away. Uh, it tends to be a little bit greater in people who are taking blood thinners. So if you, people are taking aspirin, I will usually have them stay off the aspirin until the second surgery, which usually is about a week later. If somebody's taking a fast acting blood thinner, such as Eliquis, you can resume the Eliquis use after the first surgery and stop it a few days before the second surgery, as per the PCP or cardiology recommendations. Uh, if you are having decreased vision, uh, increased light sensitivity, or increased pain sometime after the surgery, like it's going in the wrong direction, please let the office know so we can bring you in and take a peek and make sure everything is healing okay. Regarding activities, I will usually have people not do any straining, bending past the waist. You can squat down and pick something up if you need to, but just don't bend past the waist. Or any heavy lifting over 15 pounds. Now is not the time to go to the gym, just you know, take a break for a little bit. And the reason why is because anytime you engage your core like that, you can have the wound leak and fluid can come out, but bacteria can go in and that can create a bad, nasty bacterial infection that we do not want to have. Uh, you can uh, go back to like tennis and pickleball and other sports after about a week because the wound should be healed. I usually have people avoid massages for two weeks because of the face down position uh, and maybe yoga for two weeks because of the positional changes there as well, like with the downward dog, for instance. Uh, swimming, you can resume after a month after the second surgery. So after that second surgery, then four weeks later, then you can go ahead and, and resume swimming. Uh, certainly you can walk whenever you want and any other sedentary activities like watching TV is perfectly fine any old time. You can start doing that even now. I definitely want you to, to use the eyes and, and test out the vision as time goes on. Uh, so, uh, taking a shower is perfectly fine as well. In fact, I encourage it. Uh, just try to get the water to go behind you and not in your eyes. And frankly, most of us uh, take a shower with our eyes closed anyway, so it isn't a problem. Uh, you can uh, get your hair done about a week afterwards and also start using mascara, makeup, that kind of thing about a week after the surgery. Uh, you'll have a clear plastic shield that goes over the face and protects you at night. You do not need to use it in the daytime, but if you can use it for two more nights, that would be great just to protect you from any accidental eye rubbing that might occur when you can't help yourself. Uh, if you are a habitual eye rubber, then you'll want to keep that on there for a week. And it can be applied by taking the pointy end and sticking that over the bridge of the nose and being stuck down to the face with two pieces of tape. Uh, if you follow these uh, directions, I think you'll have a great post-operative course. Uh, some surgeries may require extra post-operative instructions, and I'll be happy to talk to you about that at your post-operative visit. In the meantime, happy healing, and I will see you soon.